today we will make a procedural control rig spline which will allow us to make such modifications to any uh, skeletal mesh. Uh, we can make bridges with them or uh, movable passes. Uh, it's very easy to do and let's uh, check how to make it. In the beginning we must have uh, some skeletal mesh with such hierarchy in it. We can make it in Unreal or you can make it in Blender or any other editor. Then what we have to do, we have to make a spline mesh or control rig, here it is. And uh, in control rig, for preview mesh, let's say our uh, skeletal mesh. What we got here? We got here two sections. The first section is creating of our controls and the second section is creating of our procedural spline. Control rig spline. Okay, let's start. In the construction event, we've got item net search. Um, it's it's right. It's written how it's written, so I will not explain how to add these items. Okay, for each uh, bone in the array, we execute for each loop, which got uh, all the elements here and uh, makes something to them. For our purpose, we get get transform bone in global space and transform to offset transform in, and, and we spawn our transform controls. Uh, here we've got a little bug when we spawn control we can't uh, do anything with it in such way because we have an arrow to avoid this make this this and here we go here are our transforms what's next uh, in our transforms we need uh, to set set settings uh, shape uh, rotation and to set the shapes in which in where you like you can make uh, circles cubes and so on okay after we got our transform controls we must make our spline and uh, assign our controls to control the bones in a forward note uh, we must start with uh, making an array array is a place where we store our transforms we can make without it but i think it's a very good to use arrays Okay, uh, we make an array of transforms and we reset it in the beginning of our solve. Because if we don't reset, it will very uh, first uh, overkill with uh, numbers on it. We got all transforms and for each transform, we get a transform bone. We get transforms and <laughs> add it to our my transform array. Too much word of transform, but sorry. After we make uh, our uh, we fill our array, with this array we make a spline from transforms. You can select a B spline or Kermit from it. It's not a problem. Then we draw our spline for debugging purposes to see our spline and fit chain on spline curve. And of course we got our bones here. Okay, that's our spline. And when we press it on, put it on the level, okay, we can see you can move it. Uh, and in any way you like. Here you can adjust settings of our spline. Uh, it can be stretch, front, and any other settings. Uh, and here are the, are the, the second transform controls. That's all. In such a way you can make this animated spline and control it with our sequencer. Uh, 